Oh, architect. Is this the world that you intended? Too close! Meh! If we just a bit higher, it would have hit us! Where did... More Ardain. Impossible! Your Majesty, are you hurt? What happened? The Titan just released a vast amount of energy from its chest. We think the brownout may be linked to that. Majesty, we strayed off course, but we managed to confirm our current position. Where are we? Look! Again. Curses. More Ardain can't afford to lose any more energy. It's glowing. Is it going to shoot again? That is not good. The Ardanian Titan is said to be at the end of its lifespan. If it were to release any more of the ether energy stored within its body... What would happen? It would collapse, its joints giving way under its own weight. Summons even Titans? Akos, over there! What? Uriah? Curse that Amalthus! Is every Titan under his control? My queen, it's that. The world tree. Moradain. Indo. What the blazes is going on out there? <laughs> this is madness! Does he mean to gather all the titans in one place? Akos, Petroka! Mick? Go! Go keep Jin and Milo safe! What is this all of a sudden? We must be ready for the worst. But what about Indol? They're gathering Titans from... I'll deal with it. Deal with it? Alone? Don't be a fool. It's fine. I put this all together in the first place, remember? I can control everything from here. Besides, I'm not exactly alone here. Mick! Go, and do what I can't. Okay. Petroka! Petroka! 
I love you. You are so gross, Mick. Make sure you come back alive so I can punch you for saying that. That's a deal. The ship, it's... That shape, it is just like a titan. You old fool, here I come! So it begins. Now's the time. Let's get after Jin. But the Titans. Rex, let's focus on what we can do right now. Morag? Don't worry. The Emperor is my brother, after all. I'm on it. Your Majesty! I'm okay. Issued the evacuation order across the capital. All army vessels can be used, including my private ones. Save as many as possible. You first, sire. Don't mind me. Hurry, now! Morardine cannot hold, unfortunate though it may be. Majesty. Go! Fuck! Dear sister, if you are there, please, please, save more Ardane in the world. Your eminence, the foes have been sighted. The lost technology of old Torna. How astounding it is that it still works. Surprised, eh? There are still a few of us hanging on. A survivor. Flesh Eater. You followed him down that dark path. Ha! Huh. In that case... Hmm? Oh, 
nice try. But that's not gonna work on me. And that's because... You and I are the same. What? I am... A Blade Eater. Impossible! The Blade Eater technology is not known outside the Praetorium. You're right. But that doesn't mean you're the only one. Or have you forgotten what you did before in planting your core crystal? You don't mean... you are one of the refugees from back then. But... all of them were... Disposed of, right? Sure, you tried. But some of us weren't about to die that easily. I lived on. didn't even evacuate them. You're the same as ever, Amalthus. I'm sorry, but this is a fight. I can't back down from it. Desperation at not getting the Aegis. That man. What's his plan? Why would he be so intent on obtaining the Aegis? We've... we've got to do something to stop the Titans fighting. That's easy to say, but what can we do about it when they're all the way out there? Got it! The glowing pillars! Just then, when one of the pillars got wrecked, Amalthus' power got weaker for a moment. So if we smash the pillars, he'll lose control over the Titans. It's worth a shot. Okay, Mithra? And we only want to hit the pillars? Yeah. It's moving far too much. I can't get a clear shot. This isn't going to work. Oh, man. I know. Mithra. What? If we can get a little closer, we might be able to do something. Is that true, Pyra? Probably. Think back. Do you remember our fight against Jin? By rewriting the physical laws of the surroundings, we were able to match Jin's speed. If we rewrote them in the same way, in the midst of battle between those two? From our point of view, It'll be like they frozen in place, huh? Okay. But how do we get there? Ah, Tora, I have good suggestion! Poppy! Think you could grab Mithra and Rex Rex and carry up there? Yes, Poppy can carry two people, no problem! Ta-da! 
Okay, let's do it. Everyone else after Jim. Hang on. We don't have time to argue here. Don't worry. We're gonna make this work, right? Right. Rex, Rex, please remember, Hoppy Booster Time Limited. Understood. We'll get as close as we can. Poppy, you're up. Poppy got it. Both friends, hold tight. Let's go. Rex and the Aegis? What are they doing? Unless... Open fire! Don't let them near! from here. Okay? Okay. We're in a good spot. Let's go. I've locked on. Siren! Did it work? It's stopped. Our chum's only gonna done it. Poppy do Tora proud. No problem at all, Master Pawn. Eminence, the amp towers are. Curse those fools. Do you even know what you've done? <gasps> Why? What are you hanging around here for? Go! That voice. Mick? That you? You're chasing Jin and Malos, right? I said go! Why would you... Beats me. I don't even know anymore. Mikhail... I really hate this world. Like, really. And humans, most of all. You used to be human. But you know what? There were people I loved, once. When I look at you guys, it reminds me of them. I wonder if the people I loved were still around. Would things be different? I wonder that. And I start doubting myself. Mikhail? It's Rex, right? Yeah. Have you found your answer? I have, and it's pretty spectacular. I see. Well then, 
I'll leave Jin to you. Now go. Get after him already. Tell him your answer. What happened? Are you alone? Looks like the only survivor. These burn patterns don't look like Malice's handiwork. Must have been humans. Looting and pillaging while the world burns. Hey, it's okay. Would you like to come with us? You don't have to worry, really. We're all good people, promise. Can you walk? You can. Good going. Forgive us, Jin. We're going on ahead. <gasps> Mikhail! What do you see? What do I see? I see a bunch of people struggling to stay alive. Same as almost everyone else on Allrest right now. Zeke, have you ever taken a person's life? Can't say I have. Never seen the need for it myself. Oh? Why does anyone kill others? Because they're in your way, or because you can't bear the sight of them? You kill because you're weak. But I'm not weak, so I don't need to kill anyone. And I don't mean physically, yeah? I mean in here. I suppose that makes me weak then. But that weakness is why I'm standing here today. So you hate them, humans. No. I hate this world. Chum! Huh? Do you like this world? Uh, what? Just give me a straight answer. Yeah. Sure, there's plenty of room for improvement. But then, there's also plenty of stuff that's awesome. What about us? 
Huh? Oh, I think Shalad's about to propose. What? Fleabag! I mean, how do you feel about us, people? Whew, I was worried then. You should be so lucky. Anyway, what's your answer? Ooh, that's a tough one. People can be fun to be around, but sometimes they're hard to deal with. And then there's mean types, like that banner. For sure. But... Life's about taking the good with the bad, right? So yeah, I like people. And... I like myself, and I'm people. All right, Big Ed. <laughs> I see! Well, that's you all over. I'm relieved. What? Well... Hmm? Suppose a guy who hated himself had the power that you do. If someone like that were to meet the architect, I wouldn't be surprised if they wished for the whole world to disappear. What's up, Jin? So this is where it ends. Huh? You say something? No. I'll stay here. You go fulfill our goal. What are you saying? We promised we'd go together, didn't we? We did, once. You okay? I'm just waiting. For the boy? I was told to wait. I'll be watching. All of you. Are you sure? I am. Hey, you! You wouldn't happen to be Ornelia's former blade, would you? Ornelia? No, I'm... From the Territorial Defense Corps! It's you! What? Oh, I remember them well. Even though I was knee-high to a grasshopper back then. With that sword slung across your back, you were so cool. If you hadn't come when you did, our village would have been... Oh, yes! The house you used to live in is still out there on the outskirts. House? This long war for independence will soon come to an end. It is not only the war, 
that will soon be over. Her life, too, is about to end. And when she meets her end, so too will I. Unsullied by her death, I will merely return to my core to await my eventual reawakening. I will sleep as at the end of any other day. When I awake, will I be the same person as before? If the architect does indeed exist, I wish I could ask him, who am I truly? Whence did I come? Whither am I headed? If I were a praying man, I pray this journal finds its way to you. Trusting that it will, I will use these last words to pass down a means of carving the bond between myself and my partner into this flesh. This is how it is done. <sighs> my, how terribly desolate. I heard it's been 90 years, but... What is it? Did you remember something? No. It's nothing. Really? That's too bad. I would have liked to have learnt about the old you. I am... who I am. I do not change. You came. Jin. Are you alone? Where's Malos? He went ahead. Well then, what are you doing here? Waiting for you. For us? Are you trying to stop us going after Malos? Perhaps. I want to see for myself. If this world has any will of its own, which one would it choose? You or Malos? Then you should let us pass. That I cannot do. But why? In your state, you should barely be able to stand. You know, if we fight now, you'll... You see my plan, Mithra. But I made a promise. I'll do whatever it takes to fulfill this desire. Even if it means your death. Gladly. Jim. Looks like we won't get past without a fight. Chum, it seems so. We'll give it all we've got. Come on! As it should be. Come at me, boy! You still got it, but so do we. <gasps> oh no, you don't! The power to manifest what you imagine. Truly awesome. That power comes from the architect. Why do you wield it for mortal's sake? 
To get to Elysium! And then what? Open it up to humans? Share it up between them? Do you even need to ask? Obviously! And then what? Can't you see where that leads? What are you saying? Humans will make Elysium into another Moritha. Just as they did with Torna 500 years ago. I won't let that happen! And after you die, what then? Who will stop the inevitable? Isn't that... Isn't that the reason that you blades exist? What? And when I'm not around to stand by you in that effort... Someone else will! That's right. When a person dies, that's it for them. But their thoughts and memories will always be passed on to someone else. Isn't that the same with you, Blades? Your past selves get passed down to someone else to become your new selves? Isn't that how you've always lived? We're no different. From now on, I'll protect you. I'll keep you safe. Always. Blades become titans when the time is up. And those titans give birth to many new blades. All while forming the world beneath our feet. It's awesome. It's enough to make me envious. Envious? Of us? So I'd like to ask the architect. Pyra, Mithra, all of you. Why did he create all these incredible people? Actually... I think I might already know the answer. But I'd still like to check with the man himself. To check your answer? Yeah. You... believe you know the reason we exist? <laughs> Jin! Akos. Petroka. Petroka? I won't let you kill Jen. Stand down, Petroka. But... It is over for us now. There is nothing more. We've done all that we have to. Jen. Nia? Me? Your power. Can you use it on Jin? Well, sure. It'll only be a temporary measure, but... Don't expect any thanks. <sighs> we'll go back first and prep Jin for treatment. Akos, make yourself useful. Yeah, yeah, I got him! Droka! You will climb no further. What? Amalthus? Here? And why does he look like that? If the Architect did send Blades down to this world, it was for my sake. To find and raise cores containing more powerful, wondrous, unparalleled data. That is why I created the cleansing procedure. Behold the culmination of my work! You lunatic. He took the cores from all those blades. So that was the reason for the cleansing. I am an agent of the Architect's will. What is he saying? Delusion.
illusions of grandeur. You can't just decide stuff like that, dude. You're out of your damn mind. It is no delusion. Have you forgotten the Aegis's power? That power. Is it not the Aegis's power to erase worthless things from existence? Is that not the Architect's very will? Pyra and Mithra aren't like that. I just realized. I know why Malos is so intent on scouring the world. It's you, Amalthus. Malos has become tainted by your influence. So what if he has? What's the problem? You've had your little trip around all rest. You've witnessed the state of Moritha. Mankind will never change, no matter how many millennia pass. You're the one who won't change. That's exactly why you hate those who try to. And why should I have to change? If I change, I lose everything. I lose my very self. Who in their right mind would accept such a fate? That's why. You're weak, old man. The weakest of us all. You wanna kill us, huh? You're not human. Flesh eaters? We were on our way to be transferred to Indol. My sister and I from Tantal. Sister? Here. The boy on the left? That was my driver. The right is Petroka's. Petroka. Is that her name? Yes. I'm Akos. Our drivers were brother and sister. That's why. We're siblings too, you're saying? What a dumb notion. They're them. And we're us. No relation whatsoever. Even so, these bodies contain the lives of two humans. We are connected. I don't get why you bother. Are you happy? <gasps> I'm asking if it makes you happy clinging to things like that. That I don't know, but it's better than having nothing. It's important to me, and that gives me a reason to go on, to live for.
This is a strange situation. Fighting so hard to save a member of Torna. Indeed, but it seems like the right thing to do. His aim is clear, and so is ours. Thanks. Friend, welcome. Poppy, now not time for kind manners. I believe in returning favors. You owe me for that one. Much thanks. How? Who do you people think you are? Whoa! Incorrigible welts. Why would humans side with blades? Is he slow? He thinks it's a side to pick? We share a bond, you numbskull. We're all friends here. We're in this thing together. Bonds? A friendship? With these trinkets? Of course. That was surprisingly painful. If I were still a blade, this wouldn't. Join me. Huh? My name is Jin. I am just like you. Stay right there. He's human. So we should be the ones to kick his ass. I have a heart. No less human. Then you better take good care of it. That's why you came here. Right? Rex. We're gonna break the 500 year long curse right here. Yeah. Let's do it. Cannot end like this. Not until I've met the architect. Not until I've erased everything with my own hands! What? This is bad. The World Tree cannot take it. still standing after the incredible thrashing we gave him we must stop him uh. what jen ah! Ah! Uh. pyra rex mithra you don't don't get me wrong okay i couldn't let him get your core too that's all with it, he'd be unstoppable. Thank you. All the crews, all the architect's words belong to me! <laughs> Nia, take care of them both. I... I will. Why... 
Didn't you kill me when I joined Rex and the others? It wasn't a mistake, was it? Becoming the blade of someone you trust. Jin. I did that too, once. Rex, you have to stop Malus. He's still searching for his own identity. Tell him the answer you found. Jin. You should have died with Torna. Let's end this now. Our duty has been handed down. Amalthus! Your duty is as dust in the wind compared to my destiny. Probably. After all, Pandoria looks pretty damn human for a blade. She'd be worth a lot to some people. They sell them. Line up the cores with pretty pictures of the blade inside. It's the same as it ever was. What? As soon as people are denied something they desire, they try to take it by force. Not everyone's like that. Oh, some give up prematurely, but the feeling is there, I assure you. Well, in that case, why bother protecting them? Why not let people do whatever? To remind myself, I must never forget what kind of beings humans are. Is that what helping me was, too? Hmm. A long time ago, I seem to recall seeing a very similar scene. Perhaps that too was one face of humanity. Why did you look so sad like that? That was you too, wasn't it? Jin. What a splendid soul you were, Jin. Jin.
What a stench. They let beggars roam free in this town. You. You're a blade, aren't you? Where's your driver? Dead drunk in a ditch? No, somehow I don't think that's it. The name's Malos. I'm the same as you. 